Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel Science for Everyone. Today the video is related to RNA seq data analysis and the title of my today's video is learn how to download sequence files using command prompt. As you know that I have started a video series related to RNA seq data analysis and this is, this is the part 7th of that video series. In the previous video I uh, explained that how you will explore biological database and how you will search for your data of interest. Now if you have searched your data of interest so this video is about that how you will download the data. Because if you are, uh, if you uh, you are interested in a specific data set and in specific samples related to RNA seq data, so after that when you you have to download it in order to analyze it, okay. So for downloading, there are multiple ways to download uh, RNA seq data, but I will show you the most effective and the most easiest way to download uh, sequencing files, okay. So in this video, uh, the steps you are going to learn today is that how downloading as a SRA toolkit that is important for downloading the data. After that, downloading SRA sample, uh, we will just download a single sample. Pair and one. Now then after that dumping SRA sample to fastq format and compressing files to .dz format. So these four uh, steps are too much important to download uh, uh, download uh, fastq files related to RNA seq. So this video is completely practical. So you will learn a lot from this video. Okay. So let's start with the practical. Before starting with the practical, if you are new to this channel and if you are interested in in RNA seq data analysis, so I have started from the very beginning. So you can also start from the very beginning by uh, by uh, by uh, watching the part from starting from the part two of this video series. Okay. I have discussed the workflow. I have discussed the next generation sequencing. Uh, I have discussed the structure and the quality of sequencing file. I have also discussed more about the quality of the files and then I discussed the biological databases. So all the things are in uh, are, are just continuing in a flow. So if you want to learn complete RNA seq data analysis, so this is the best uh, channel for you people to learn it completely through hand on training. Okay. So now let's uh, start uh, downloading our uh, RNA seq files. Okay. So for this first you have to, as we have discussed in the first step, downloading SRA toolkit. So for that you have to go to the Google and after that you have to type SRA toolkit for Windows. And after that uh, there will be a, a link installing SRA toolkit. You have to click on that link and after that you have to go to the Windows option because you are having Windows and we will use command prompt. Okay. You are not dealing with Ubuntu or a Mac operating system. So we are dealing with Windows. So we will just click on this and you, uh, the SRA toolkit will be downloaded. Okay. So now the download is start. So I have already downloaded it. So it is present in my download option, uh, download folder. Okay. So what will you do is just uh, uh, unzip it or extract it. So you will click on the extract and it will be extracted. Okay. So after that, uh, it consists of uh, bin folder, example schema. So basically there are the, the command that are used to download the files is basically present in the bin folder. Okay. So we will use specific commands to download uh, the fastq file using this, the, this folder. Okay. So let's just, uh, if you want to download your files in D folder. Okay. So just copy this, uh, just copy this SRA toolkit and go to your D folder and after that paste it here. So I have already pasted here this SRA tool. Okay. So this is my D folder and after that, this is SRA tool file. This is the SRA toolkit and this is the bin folder. Okay. So basically when you are downloading the file, so you have to be, you have to be present here in this bin folder. Okay. So uh, when you are downloading it, so the files, the fastq file will be automatically downloading into your bin folder and if it is present in the D folder so it will be automatically downloading in the D folder if your SRA toolkit is present in the C folder so it will be automatically downloading in uh, downloaded in the C folder okay so I recommend to use D folder uh, for downloading okay after that because it consists of a huge space okay so for example now this is our uh, place where we have to download our files okay so as I have mentioned in the uh, title of the, this video is that we have to use uh, commands by using command prompt to download this. Okay. So for example, now we, I'm, I'm opening my command CMD. I think um, so much of the uh, viewers will be new to this command prompt, but I will uh, teach you in a very basic way. Okay. So now this is uh, my command prompt. Okay. This is my location when uh, command prompt is open. So basically it is present. It is navigating in the C folder. Okay. But my SRA toolkit is present in the D folder. Inside the D, uh, the, the D directory, there is an, another directory known as SRA tool. In that directory or that folder, there is SRA toolkit 3.1.0. And after the inside that directory is another directory. And after that, there is a bin folder. It's just like this. I'm showing you again. Okay. Here is the SRA tool. After that, I click on it. So SRA, then I click again, again. And this is the bin folder. So when you want to use these commands, you have to navigate uh, inside your command prompt just to reach here. Okay. So to move from C to D inside a command prompt, you have to write, you have to just type D and uh, just the, the, the you have to just uh, place the semicolons okay and after that you will click on it so you will move into the d just look into what is present inside my d folder so just click on ls 
and now there is uh, different files and uh, directories in my d folder okay so we, we are we are interested in sra so there is a folder known as sra tool so i want to go inside that SRA, uh, sra tool okay so just click on the uh, type cd and see after cd just uh, write sra okay? and after it, uh, it just uh, this is sra tool i click on it i go, get inside this sra tool after that again i'm typing sra tool and after that i'm i'm just navigating and i'm just going inside my uh, my directories to reach the bin folder okay because i have to download my files inside the bin folder okay and after that again i'm typing sra and now after that when i just type ls so now here is that, that bin folder okay now i want to go inside this bin folder so cd and bin so after that i'm now i'm inside this bin folder okay if i want to write uh type ls and want to check that what is present inside this bin folder so just look here this is basically this these are the exact file present in my bin folder okay just look here if i want to check abi dumped so basically abi dumped is present here okay abi dumped.exe okay so now here i'm present in the bin folder and i'm exactly I, I can now download the files okay so for example now you are interested in a, in a specific data let's get into the data okay so just we will go to the google after that as i have uh, i have just mentioned in the previous video that how you will navigate inside the the biological databases so for example uh, we write ncbi and we want to just check our get our data we we have to get the, that accession number okay if you are having your accession number you can just uh, write the code and after that you can go, uh, you can download it but we are not having the accession number for example now we are having a, an accession number of a complete project okay so for example there is srp and srp double three five two eight zero okay so for example this is a study and i'm interested in this and i want to download a specific file inside this uh, a specific file of this of this study okay so now we will go we will just check it, okay so we will click on this uh, rna of colorector i have discussed that how you will just check this study that what is present inside this study okay so you can just watch the previous video okay so for example i am i am interested in downloading this sample okay so for example i am interested in downloading this sample and this sample is related to rna c transcriptomic paired and i want to download it okay so it is basically the size is 2.5 gb okay so there is no such uh, option here to download this file but we are having a specific uh, command for it now our uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the the basically the uh, the run id is srr15693854 or i will just uh, uh, navigate easily so you can understand okay we will go to the send run to rna selector and after that uh, we will just check that what is basically this uh, the phenotype of our this sample okay so it will get more interesting okay okay so now it's a pair uh, it uh, the total study consists of 52 samples and uh, the total sample uh, size is 130 gb okay and after that if for example we want to download this specific file this the first number file srr15693854 and th this is the run id and after that its specific size is 2.50 gb this is patient number 10 and basically it is senatal lymph node senatal lymph node is basically a phenotype where cancer cells are present inside this lymph node and the sample is taken and we want to check the rna seq of this sample okay okay so we will just copy this uh, srr 1569 uh, we will just copy this uh, uh, run number and after that we will write prefetch and after that we will just type our uh, accession number and you will click on the enter and after clicking on the enter it will take some time and it will start downloading the file okay so basically now it is downloading the file if i want to show you so basically now this file is downloading okay uh okay now this is the file when it is downloading okay now it is 00, 0 kb and although it is 2.5 gb so it will take some time it will also depend upon your uh internet speed and how much it is so it will depend on each and everything but uh using command prompt on by downloading the data is very much efficient it downloaded very much efficiently and fastly okay so keep this thing in mind because i have personal experience i have downloaded about 400 gb data and it took uh one night uh to download all the data okay if you want to download multiple files so for multiple files just uh, just uh, copy this whole accession numbers and after that uh, i will just cancel it okay because i have already downloaded it you just write prefetch and after that just type your accession all your accession ids okay and after that click on the enter and it will start downloading all the files okay so basically now now we have downloaded the file uh this is basically the file i want to show you i have already downloaded it for you people just to show you okay so for example it is present inside i have just moved this okay so inside this uh, it is present here this is the type of file now just look here this is 2.6 gb and this is the sra format i want to show you in the slides i have prepared some slides for you people okay so when it is downloaded it just look like this okay and after that this is uh, in dot sra format and it is 2.50 gb okay but now we cannot process this file because we, we cannot analyze this file because it is 
in dot sra format and uh, our uh, our different tools cannot analyze it until and unless it is converted into fast queue format okay and the most important thing is that this is paired end files okay when paired end file means that it consists of two reads okay two reads read one and read two now i will show you that what does it means i have already discussed the paired paired and reads concept in the previous videos okay so if we have to convert this into fast queue format so for converting into fast queue format for example uh, uh, uh just i want to move this i will just i will just move it cut and i will place it here okay okay i will place it here okay so for example this is our file and it is present here now we want to convert this into fast queue format so in order to analyze that data okay so for that there is a simple code for to uh, just convert this into fast queue format so we will just uh, type a simple code that, that is present in the uh, in the sra toolkit this is basically fast queue uh, uh, fast queue dump and we can write we will write split files okay so fast queue dump uh, double uh, slash and after that split files okay and after split files we will write our accession number okay so basically now this is the file and we just type the code and we will enter it and it will start splitting the files and it will con uh, just convert it into two files okay paired one and paired two just look here if uh, this is paired one and this is paired two okay so it will also take some time just to split it and convert into fast queue format okay so when it is converted so it will just look like this okay it will just look like this so now this is split it paired one and and two a second end and both consist of 10.7 gb okay so uh, just consider that when it when it was present in dot sra format so it was only 2.5 gb because it was a type of compressed and after that when we just expand it we convert it into two files so now each file is composed of 2.7 gb okay so now this file can also be analyzed by the by different tools to uh, analyze the fi uh, sequencing files okay that we will discuss in the upcoming video that how we will going to analyze these files okay but uh, uh, most of the people faces uh, um, storage issues okay because 10.7 GB, 10.7 GB is a huge space. Even a single file consists of 20 GB, okay? And if someone want to download 20 files, then I mean, it got split it up. So it it may acquire a lot of space inside the uh, laptop and computer, okay? So there is a command to compress the file and convert it into .gz format. So when we convert these into .gz format, so basically, uh, it uh, even the .gz format can be analyzed by, by the FastQ tools, okay? The, the sequencing tools or the RNA sequencing data analysis tool. But uh, because dot gz format is basically uh, accepted in analyze, uh, uh, data analysis if you want to convert it in, into dot zip format or 7 zip format so it cannot be analyzed okay so dot gz is the perfect compressed version to uh, if it is in dot gz format uh, it can be analyzed by the tool okay so to convert it into dot gz format we have to just simply uh, type a command i will just cancel it this one because i have already done it for you people okay so i will just delete these okay and after that to to just uh, change this to dot gz format just write gzip gzip and just type uh, the the both the file name okay these are the file names the srr 15693854 minus 1 dot fast q you have to write dot fast q okay and i, I want to just uh, write it for you people although i'm not having the files but i will write for you for example one srr 1569 uh, <clears throat> and for example this is one so one dot fast q okay and you will enter it and after that it will be converted into dot gz format and when it is converted into dot gz format so i want to show you that when it is converted into dot gz format so what will happen okay so basically now this will happen first it was 10 gb now it is one point each file is 1.99 and 2 gb okay but it can be analyzed by the uh, the, the sequencing tools okay so now the, the the size is also compressed you have you have saved your storage space and after that file these files are ready for analysis okay even the first two files were also ready for analysis but uh, these files are also ready for the analysis so why don't we just convert all the files to dot gz format and we can analyze it um, uh, easily okay so basically this was these were the steps to uh, use download your data and after that uh, uh, we will proceed with the analysis in the next video but you should know about your data that how to download it okay so this is very much important video you have learned that uh, how to download your data by starting with sra toolkit we i explained that how to download sra sample convert it into fast queue format and compress files to .gz format okay so this was the main motive of my this video the main aim of the, my video in order to show you that how to download the files using command prompt okay so hope you have understand it well if you have any confusion just let me know in the comment box i will answer you there you can also email me uh, you know in order to get online assistance related to rna seq data analysis 
I'm also arranging a webinar related to RNA seq data analysis. And if you want to learn it face to face, face to face from me, so you can just uh, get into the webinar, register yourself. Uh, you can email me. I have also mentioned the my WhatsApp number in the uh, in the video. I will also share the link of that video in the description box. You can go there, uh, email me. I will register you in that course, the RNA seq data analysis course, and you can learn complete RNA seq data analysis face to face in two days. Okay. So hope you all the best. Uh, uh, and if you are interested, so just email me. Okay. So see you in the next video of part eight of this video series. Uh, for now, uh, thank you very much. God bless you.